the evidence will reveal that this voice recording documents Michael Jackson highly under the influence of unknown agents with Dr. Murray evidently sitting nearby, evidently observing, maybe listening, but recording on his iPhone. What this evidence will reveal to you is Conrad Murray's knowledge of Michael's state on May 10th, 2009. What this evidence will reveal to you is Conrad Murray's knowledge of what he is doing to Michael Jackson on May 10th, 2009. Over a month and a half before Michael Jackson dies as a result of this very treatment. You will hear the whole recording during this trial, but I'll play a clip now so you can have a, a taste of what Conrad Murray knew on May 10th, 2009. Listen to the voice of Michael Jackson on May 10th, 2009. When people leave the show, when people leave my show, I want to say, I've never seen nothing like this in my life. Go, go. I've never seen nothing like this. Go. It, it, it's amazing. He is the greatest entertainer in the world. I'm taking that money. I'm very children. Children's hospital. The biggest in the world. My reaction to the hospital. That is what Conrad Murray is seeing and observing on May 10th, 2009. And what does he do with that knowledge? What does he do with that information? On May 12th, he orders another shipment of propofol and midazolam. Again, he orders 40 of the 100 milliliter bottles of propofol just two days after that recording was made. 